everybody. Welcome to another edition of the Jerry Lawler Show. And man, we have got an action-packed show for you today. As, uh, we have some of the greatest and uh, probably the most guests we've ever had on one show. Uh, we have a group of uh, very special people with us today. They uh, have traveled to Memphis all the way from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania to, uh, to see wrestling. They're here to see Memphis-style wrestling. They watched it yesterday at uh, the uh, Channel 5 studios, and then they traveled to Nashville uh, last night. They're going to be in the Coliseum, well, in Jackson tonight and at the Coliseum Monday night. But they're here with us on the show today. We're going to be talking to some of those people and uh, letting them view the show here. And another very special person we're going to be talking to today, uh, I think it's the first time we've ever had him on the show live. <laughs> uh, well, Petro, I, I'm with you. I, I think I was with you one time. He's been no. here before? Okay. No, I haven't. No, I'm right. No, no. Okay. Yeah, somebody, somebody, else, somebody else's show. Right. But Pepper Rogers is here with us today. We're going to be talking with Pepper a little bit later on about, uh, well, everybody knows what's coming up here in Memphis, the big NFL game, and the big push is on for Memphis to get the NFL team. Pepper's going to be telling us more about that. Plus, we got some action uh, video. We're going to be telling you all about the action coming up Monday night at the Coliseum. All that plus a lot more stuff we're going to have on the show today. So you stay with us. We'll be right back after the show. country singer was all glamour and bright lights. But you know, it's also hard work. And once in a while, those bright lights can give you a headache. That's why I always carry Goody's headache powders. And whoever's been doing glamour is you. Because Goody's works fast when I need it. And when you work for a living, sometimes you're going to need it. You think motor oil's just motor oil? Oh, there's motor oil and... Mmm, there's Valvoline. And now with Valvoline's no weight rebate, you get 20 cents off every quart of these Valvoline motor oils instantly at the cash register. Yeah! Uh, sure, other motor oils have rebates, but you gotta mail them in. Take a hike. <sighs> My suggestion, get the Valvoline performance and the 20 cents a quart no weight rebate without spending 22 cents. Our reputation is traveling fast. Now that our reputation is at stake. Oh. If you don't come in, you're missing out on something fabulous. New steak fajitas. Think of it as a Mexican steak sandwich. Hello, Taco Bell. Hello, Homer. I didn't mean to wake you up so early. Do you want to go with me to a senior citizen health screening? Well, Action News 5 and Methodist Hospital are getting together at Pipkin Building at the fairgrounds all this week from 9 in the morning to 4 in the afternoon. You know, eye tests, blood pressure checks for older adults like us. We need to pick up our free tickets at any Ticketmaster location. If you need more information, call 726-8700. Why don't you tell your best friend about the health screening? Okay, we are back on the show now, and as I said earlier, we want to welcome to the show, I guess the first time actually here in the studios, Pepper Rogers. Pepper, Thank you, Jared. Delighted to be you. with you. I've seen your show before and many a time, and always enjoy the way you do things, and I also like the way you don't have to dress up for your show. Isn't that nice? <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the best things about your show. I love that. And you, 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 you say you give away gifts? We have gifts for you. Oh, I told him during the break he gets gifts, and he was, he was surprised. <laughs> it was the only way we can get guests to come uh, on. Well, not me. I'll do it any time. Okay. Well, we're, we are certainly uh, glad to have you here, and it's, it's uh, very timely because the time is drawing near. The big push is on, I guess, is starting this month, uh, the month of August, uh, about the big game that's coming up on September the 6th. Right. September the 6th at one thirty between Kansas City and St. Louis. And, uh, Jerry, the National Football League likes to call it a preseason game. We've been calling it an exhibition game, but... Yeah. Uh, I don't want to make Pete Rozelle mad, so on your show, I'll say preseason pre game. Well, it, uh, the game is really, uh, uh, it, it, who's playing is, is all right. I mean, it doesn't really make any difference. What we're interested in, obviously, is showing uh, support from the Mid-South uh, for uh, Memphis's attempt to get a National Football League team, and uh, we all will benefit by that. And, uh, oh, sure. and I said before, I said, if we have any trouble selling this game out, Jerry, it's up to you to come out there at halftime and put on a little... <laughs> we'll <laughs> we know have, we can fill them We'll up. have wrestling at halftime. That's, <laughs> I, that's the only I'm sure of in Memphis that if we have a problem, which I don't think we will, but uh, we'll get you out there and let you put on a show. Okay, we All can right. do that. Now, let me ask you this. 
currently, to this date, uh, approximately how many tickets have been? Well, you know, we're somewhere, and, 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 I, and I'm going to always say this, like, for example, Phoenix called up yesterday, and they want to have a contest between us and Phoenix and, and Jacksonville. They're having exhibition games. And I say, look, I don't have an accurate count. I'll tell you why I don't, because, for example, what we do is we, we, like, we, we get people like 2,000 tickets, and they, and, they, and they sell them to their employees, and we've got right. about 8,000 tickets out on consignment like that, and we've sold approximately... 38, 39, so if you said 44, 45, 46, but we've got a, a gate already that's successful, meaning money-wide, mm -hmm. and every ticket we sell from this part on, point on is going to mean a great deal to the Mile of Dimes, which is a charity in Memphis, as you well know, that's it's, right. it's a good one, and we hope to be able to put a lot of money in the charity's pocket so that they can uh, do some good during the Christmas holidays. Now, a couple other things I want to touch on. A lot of people are wondering, or at least have asked me, do you think the stadium will definitely be ready, won't it? Jerry looks great out there. I'll tell you what, if you go out there and look at this thing, it is so beautiful. And now, now it won't be ready in its entirety, meaning the skyboxes won't be ready. Right. But some of the concession stands won't be ready. But you will have a stadium second to none, in my opinion, in the National Football League. They moved the stadium back six feet on one side, which took, off, took out some seats, which has created some seating problems for the people who are signing the seats. But, uh, I mean, it is a knockout. You well, should be very proud of when you see it. Oh, I'm sure all of Memphis will, and I'm sure they're going to see it on September the 6th. The, imp uh, the important thing we talked about is, is that uh, this game needs to sell out because the other, what are the other main cities that are in the Well, we've we got Phoenix, Jacksonville, you got uh, Oakland, Baltimore, you got Birmingham. There'll be about 25 cities competing for spots, but see, Jacksonville and Phoenix, they, 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 they're trying to run day by day scores on who's got the most people. Mm -hmm. Well, as I said to them, look, we don't have anything to prove in Memphis. We sold 37,000 tickets to every showboat game. Right. How many did you sell? Well, in professional football, we've proved that we can support it in this area. And we played on Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday afternoon, every game televised right. locally. And this is a game between two teams that have no, no, really not, no strong support in this community. And yet we've already sold over 40,000 tickets for this game. I have another month to go. Football season hadn't even started. We haven't even really gotten the drive going. So what we're going to do now, we're going to settle it out and show the rest of the world Memphis belongs, and they need us more than we need them because we can show them what, that's what football is all about in this area. That's right. Now, you and I were talking the other day, and I think it's no secret to a lot of these, the fans out there. I'm a big Cleveland Browns fan until, Certainly. until Memphis. Until we get a name, that's right. I, I go up to Cleveland every year, and uh, I have some friends that live about 30 miles from Cleveland. And when you get ready on Sunday mornings to drive into Cleveland mm -hmm. to the game, it's like, you know, it's like a caravan that starts from maybe uh, 30, 40, 50 miles out. And I think you said that's real important that we get the people, not just from Memphis, but from the Jackson, Tennessee, from uh, Blytheville, Arkansas. We need a, we need a radius uh, of... Well, for example, we've been selling a lot of tickets in Tupelo, Mississippi. They've, they've bought a lot of tickets over there. We, I, I'm traveling to Nashville, Little Rock. I just talked to Ripley, Tennessee on the phone before I came over here to do this show. We do all this kind of stuff to try and get our uh, uh, Mid-South support because when the NFL looks at us, they'll say, how many people did you get outside the area to come from? Right. That's the secret. That's it. Well, we want to invite everybody. Is there, is there, where, where do they, how do they go about getting well, tickets? Well, Jerry, they can get where? tickets at the Liberty Bowl. At the, it, all they can go to the Ticket Hub at Sears or any of these Ticket Hub places mm -hmm. in Memphis or any uh, of their That's cities. in the outline That's area. That's in the Ticket Hub. You can go right there and pick out your tickets. And I'll tell you what. You want to come see me? I don't even have to get tickets. I can't get you good tickets now, though. But I'll tell you one thing, Lawler, since I'm on a wrestling show, I ought to uh, tell you this. better come. Okay. Pepper, thanks for being here. Now the good part, we're going to come with a gift right now. Oh, go right. <laughs> By the way, how's uh, my guy Lex Luger doing? Lex Luger, in case a lot of these people didn't realize, uh, he's doing very well. He's in yeah. the NWA. He played for the Memphis Showboats. Is it, what's his name, Larry Fole? Yeah, Larry Fole. He Larry played Fole. left tackle for us, yeah. Was he any good? Couldn't well, block anybody. Well, 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 I've seen, I, know, I don't want to make Larry mad. I've seen him <laughs> wrestle. You were terrific, Larry. <laughs> okay. Hey, okay, thanks for being here, Pepper. And, and, and just for being here, here's a shirt from the people over at Bad Influence t shirt shop at Overton Square. What's it say on that? Uh, Bad Influence. Right. You can wear that in front of your players. No, no you no, can't wear that. I'll uh, wear that playing tennis. There you go. All right, and here is a nice little gift pack from the fine people at Goodies. That's good for all kind of pain relief and that Boy, sort of this thing. Is, this is a big time show. <laughs> That's it. I there you go. You. And a bag. And a, and a tote bag full of all sorts of stuff in here from the people at night. Woo! I'll come back on this show anytime. Okay, Pepper, thanks for being here. And we're going to be back with more of the show right after these words. The 
NFL is coming. The St. Louis Football Cardinals and the Kansas City Chiefs bring professional football to our newly expanded Liberty Bowl. And as your official TV station for this game, TV5 invites you to be a part of this historic event. For tickets, call 272-1214 or 278-4747. And join us in the Liberty Bowl September 6th when the St. Louis Football Cardinals and the Kansas City Chiefs bring the NFL to the Midtown. Just when you thought that summer was as hot as it could possibly get, along comes the hottest furniture event of the season, Haverty's August Show and Sale. So hot, it sizzles. Haverty's August Show and Sale features refreshing new decorating ideas for your entire home, all at exceptional summer savings. Plus, buy now and make no down payment during the hottest event of the season, Haverty's August Show and Sale. Haverty's makes it home. Nothing down. This truck, car, and van sale ever at Covington Pike Toyota, America's number one volume Toyota dealer in 49 states. Own any Toyota truck, car, or van for nothing down with approved credit. Nothing down and $179 a month, and you own a four-wheel drive pickup at this mammoth Covington Pike Toyota sales event. Camrys, vans, Corollas, Cressidas, trucks, forerunners, $1,500 to choose from at prices up to $500 less than any other dealer. Covington Pike Toyota, America's number one volume Toyota dealer in 49 states. If you had to be reincarnated as a potato chip, would you be the one you're eating right now? Ugly and brown and wearing a boring old bag? Yuck. I'd be a Delta Gold brand potato chip. I'd be light in color, thin, and ever so golden. I'd have a taste so pure and fresh, I'd be irresistible. And my package would be ultra chic. But if I were a Delta Gold chip, do you think at parties I'd have to spend all my time with the dips? Delta Gold brand. Great taste comes to light. We are back on the show now, and it's time for our viewer mail segment. We have a letter this week that comes from uh, Mary Poole in Halls, Tennessee. It goes, Dear Jerry, uh, this is redundant. My name is Mary Poole from Halls, Tennessee, and I've been your best fan for 10 years. I want to ask you why you don't get a manager and clean house like you did in the old days. We love you and always will. Uh, and a lot of people probably realize that I have had over the years of several, uh, several managers, uh, and I've had good and bad experiences with them. Uh, at one time, Jimmy Kent, the goof, uh, had a guy, I hope you're no kin to Mickey Poole. Uh, I, I had a, a manager at one time who is now on the uh, 10 most wanted list, believe it or not, uh, Mickey Poole. And uh, uh, Jimmy Hart, a real bad experience with this jerk. And uh, the only good one that I've ever had was Sam Bass. And I don't think that I'll ever find another guy that could fill his shoes. So until that time, uh, I'll just keep myself... Uh, as a single wrestler without any kind of managers. From time to time, it doesn't hurt to have somebody in your corner to offset maybe another manager, but uh, as far as any managers, I'm going to stay away from that. But Mary, we do want to thank you for writing in and just for having your letter read here on the show. Ta-da! We're going to send you out one of these. Where is it? Okay, over here, they're pointing to this camera. It's the shirt from the show there, and uh, everybody that has your letter read on the show, that's, that's is what we're going to send you one of these. And uh, if you have a question for myself or for anybody, any of the wrestlers, we will uh, be glad to hear from you. Here's the address that you send it to. It's the Jerry Lawler Show, 1960 Union Avenue, Memphis, Tennessee. The zip code is 38104. There's a shot of a little postcard that we send out to everybody that writes to us uh, just to acknowledge your letter. So get those cards and letters in here. We'd love to hear from you. Tell you what we're going to do right now. We are going to take a look at what's coming up at the Mid-South Coliseum tomorrow night. And uh, as I said, we have a great group of wrestling fans that are in here from Philadelphia, and this is going to be the action they're going to be seeing. And if you get down there, at 8 o'clock, you're going to be right along with them and see it. There's a special student night, I might add. Uh, can we go back to that first font? Because I'm not really sure about the... Uh, or maybe we can't. Uh, can we? Yeah, it doesn't matter if we can or not. Anyway, it's a special It's a special prices for students down there. We're going to be telling you in just a second. Or there it is, right there. Students from kindergarten through the 12th grade are going to be admitted to general admission for only $2. Sort of like fan appreciation night there. So all of you students, before you have to pack it up and go back to school, we got a special night for you at wrestling. $2.00 the general mission so come on down there and as i said we start at eight o'clock the first match is going to be alan west uh big uh, young good-looking guy there and he's going to be taking on this uh, cousin bluey who uh george barn has george barnes has brought into the area that's going to be the opening match then pat tanaka and is going to be going up against john paul now these are two young rugged guys that uh boy there should be a lot of speed a lot of action in that match you're going to love it then paul diamond pat's partner is going to be taking on mark star another uh, another similar situation young guys uh, full of a lot of uh, spit and vinegar there, and they're going to be going at it. Paul Diamond against Mark Starr. 
Then we've got a grudge tag match uh, with Big Bubba and Goliath, and they're going to have Jeff Jarrett in their corner. They're going to be going against the Moon Dogs, and of course Jeff's going to be out there to kind of take care of this little weasel downtown Bruno to make sure he's not sticking his nose in anything. So that should be a good match. Then, this is a wild match. Uh, uh, we got a 10-man elimination. Uh, you can't really, it's going to be a tag match of sorts, but it continues. And I mean, if one man gets pinned and gets beat, he has to go back to the dressing room, and that leaves his uh, his team uh, dwindled down there. And you just keep on you keep on wrestling until one team is completely eliminated. And then, uh, if I understand this right, the winner gets uh, their choice of a title match. So this should be uh, it should be a super match. Ten men involved in that, as you can see: Big Bubba, Goliath, Alan West, Mark Starr, John Paul, the Moon Dogs, Pat Tanaka, Paul Diamond, and Cousin Bluey. Then we got a return Southern Tag title match and with Jeff Jarrett and Billy Travis go up against the Nasty Boys. And boy, these guys have been, uh, they've been living up to their reputation since coming into the area, a couple of real jerks. Uh, but we're going to see if Jeff and Billy can handle the Nasty Boys down there Monday night. Then a grudge match. Gosh, I, I would have said I would never thought I would see this match. But anyway, Bill Dundee is going to be taking on his former partner of probably 10 years or more, George Barnes. They're going to be going head to head down at the Coliseum on Monday night. Then we got <laughs> this is going to be this is something else. I mean, you're going to have to see this to believe it. The Price is Right match, and I'm not going to. Uh, it, it would take the rest of the show to try to go over all the stipulations of this match. But anyway, it's the first uh, one of its kind, uh, the first of its kind in Memphis. And if you people are familiar with Memphis wrestling, you know you've seen just about everything here in the past. But this is a first, and I'm looking forward to it. Myself and Rocky Johnson, we're going to be going against Brickhouse Brown and the dreaded singing cowboy Don Bass in the Price is Right match. That's all Monday night, the Mid-South Coliseum. Special prices for students. Come on down. Only two bucks to general admission. We want to see you down there. Tell you what we want to do right now. We want to talk to a very, very dear friend of mine. Mr. John Berzicelli is with us from New Jersey. John, good to have you down here in Memphis. And uh, what are you looking for, gifts? Pepper took all the gifts. Pepper took all the I gifts. I hope he gets the franchise because he took all the gifts. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I failed to mention that. I also, I, I, I had to give him the gift certificate from the North End restaurant down on Beale Street. That's good. That's I was good. trying to, I yeah. hid it over here. I was trying to save it for you, but he spotted it. He saw it. So he got that too. But John, uh, you something. are in town uh, for a couple of reasons. You're here down here, uh, not only with the group from from Philadelphia. Explain to us real quick about, about all these fans and, and why they're here. Well, it's a very special occasion. The Wrestling Radio, which is the only wrestling radio talk show to take place in the country, originates out of Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. These folks are members of the fan club. Right. And Carmelo and Square Paul, Circle Fan Club, right? Square Circle Fan Club. And uh, they recognize Memphis Wrestling as being a better product in the country at the moment. Very exciting. And they've been very supportive and have bought a lot of our videos, in fact. That's how they've, they've seen the wrestling. And they said, can we get a group together to come down and visit? And that's how we originated here. Somehow when I talk to you, John, the subject always gets around the video. It always does. We'll, it always we'll does. be talking to it in a minute. But, but as we said, if, if we can, hopefully we're going to try to get a shot of some of these people right now. Uh, there, yeah, they're, they're all around the ring there and, uh, and uh, viewing the show. Okay. And it's, they're <laughs> waving. Hi, everybody. Uh, a fine, fine group there from Philadelphia. And as you said, these people see in Philadelphia, I guess, the WWF and the NWA, NWA, NWA the right, Jim Crockett right. promotion. And uh, I guess really the only exposure they've had to uh, our wrestling down here in Memphis has been probably through your videos, and a lot of these people exchange videotapes and that sort of That's thing. That's exactly correct. Exactly and so correct. Uh, they are, they are, they are down, down here to see it firsthand and in person, right? They are. I don't know if Memphis is quite ready, but we're going to find out. Okay. And then we're on to Nashville and, of course, Jackson and, and into Memphis for Monday evening. All right, great. you got some more exciting things coming up with the videos. we got, uh, we got one minute left for you, John, so tell us what's, uh, what's happening with videos. Well, in one minute it would be very difficult, as I you know, know, and we just happen to have a copy of Jerry Lawler Volume 2, The Early Years, whichever camera's on. It's in your video stores here locally. If it isn't, find another that. video store. What Correct one. Great-looking little uh, video. That's right. right there. And within that one and, uh, minute period, we'll have uh, Volume 3 out in time for Christmas. It'll be available in October, which we hope, if everything goes well, will be you battling some of the other champions, Nick Bockwinkel, Rick Flair, Rick Martell, the whole group, maybe even going back to Harley Race. That'll be great. Uh, that's going to be out. We're going to try to have it for Christmas. In time for Christmas. Now, you also do a line of uh, wrestling video called Mad Men, Maniacs, and Lunatics. And Lunatics, like which is Am very, I included very in that group? Well, I won't tell you. Which, uh, under which heading, considering all the gifts are gone, but uh, the okay. answer to that is yes. So we'll have Mad Men, Maniacs, and Lunatics USA, Volume 1 out in time for September, also for Christmas. You put one of those out in Canada that has just been wild. It has been wild, well, immensely so, immensely oh. so. So the man will bring it here. And when you have the gift, I'll be back to tell you about it. Okay, John, it's been nice having you here. <laughs> we are going to take a break right now. We're going to come back in just a couple of minutes, and we are going to be meeting uh, Carmella and Joel Goodhart, and uh, these are the people that... Correct. 
you, right? That's correct. Okay, stay with us. We'll be right back. Crystal Lovers, Cowboy Sid, and she of the fire-breathing Wonder Horse, here with Crystal's free Hot Deal Coupon Book. Sizzling with savings of over $28 on Crystal Food and loads more! Trade these coupons to Crystal, save over $3 on great eating, and take these coupons to service merchandise and save big on all of these. Best of all, we'll show them, Sheila. Crystal's Hot Deal Coupon Book is free. So blaze the trail to Crystal and pick up your free coupon book. Whoa, it's hot. Living each day to the fullest can have its risks. Minor illnesses, cuts or sprains, even broken bones. So at Eastwood Hospital, my colleagues and I staff the emergency department 24 hours a day. Our goal is to provide quality treatment promptly, courteously, so you recover quickly and get back to the things in life you enjoy. Take care of that arm now. I will. Thanks, Dr. Evans, and thanks, Eastwood. Eastwood Hospital. We're ready 24 hours a day. Okay, we are back now, and uh, we have with us some more of the guests that uh, are in town from Philadelphia. Uh, let me introduce to you, uh, I'm going to start, of course, with Carmela, Carmela Panfil, and her husband is behind her, Paul Panfil, and back here we have Joel Goodhart. We certainly want to welcome you all to Memphis. Have you, is it this hot in Philadelphia? Yeah, it, it was for the past couple of days. Now there's a little bit. It's a little bit cooler out there. I now. saw that on the news. I mean, like people are dropping dead and everything in Philadelphia. I went up to 100 and something. Oh, well, they're not used to that. We're yeah. kind of used to it down mm -hmm. here in the south. So we we want to, but kind of stay inside. And we hopefully we'll have air conditioning everywhere. We're wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> Try to cool you off down here. Want to welcome you all to uh, to Memphis and tell us a little bit about uh, what you all do as far as a radio show. You have a a wrestling talk radio show in Philadelphia? That's exactly what we have, and thank you for allowing us to come out here, first of all. But uh, what we have is, as you said, a radio talk show for professional wrestling. As To our knowledge, we are one of the only, if not the only one in the country, definitely in the vicinity of Philadelphia. Uh, what we do is we have, at this point in time, we're on twice a week. We have a Friday night show from 6.30 to 8 o'clock, and we have a Sunday afternoon show from 12 to 1.00. And what we do on Friday nights is basically fans' night type thing, and fans call up and ask all kinds of questions. We have trivia questions, and the person who wins the trivia gets to co-host our show the following week. Oh, that's um, great. Yeah, and then on Sundays our informative hour, and uh, what we do there is basically give out any uh, results, upcoming shows, or any kind of like little inside tidbit we can get on the, the uh, WWF, the NWA, the AWA, Memphis Wrestling, Japanese Wrestling. Yeah. Um, the Alabama wrestling, uh, Old Mid South, Continental States, whatever we can get, you know. Now, you you are the co-host along with Joel, right? Mm -hmm. Joel, how do you guys go about? I mean, it must be a massive job trying to keep uh, or gather information from all these all different time. areas. How all, do you do that? All week long, Paul's on the telephone. Oh, I and, see. Uh, <laughs> Paul does the bulk of the work in terms of gathering information. Friday night or Thursday night, Carmelo sits in front of the computer and types out the information. I just kind of walk in and say, what do I have to say? Um, I got the easy part of <laughs> the deal. Easy job there. But uh, no, we got contacts all over the world and we keep in touch with them. And uh, in fact, one of the people that we have down here with us from, is from Canada and uh, some people from Connecticut and whatever. So we keep in touch with people all over the world and they give us the information. Now, I know one time uh, I called in and we did a, we did a phone-in interview on the show. Do you, right. do you do that often? I mean, you do talk with have interviews with other wrestlers from all over the world we have periodically thing? yeah we what we do is sometimes have uh, call-in taped interviews and we play them on the air or we have call-ins we've had uh, uh, the Fantastics call in we've had Wendy Richter call in we've had uh, Dr. D Dave Schultz call in uh, yourself of course we've had you know several people call in and it's going quite well and 
that's basically how uh, you know we've got to come up here because we're kind of like uh, really into Memphis you know and uh, uh, my husband and myself we have at least 200 tapes you know from people that we know in Memphis that have sent us tapes and, uh, oh, so, that's I, the and so there are sent. people that are taping our wrestling program here on Saturday sending it and to sending the them. oh yeah right. sending them and basically what we've kind of like on the air every time we get up to the Memphis part you know I'm, I'm constantly like you got to see this stuff you, you know <laughs> and it's great and luckily everybody kind of uh, believed us and then we had a video party before we came here so that they would have some idea as to what we're going to be seeing hopefully and they were extremely impressed and needless to say as soon as they saw the end of the video everybody's like well here's my money here you know we'll go we'll go and well, that's it was great, great. And, and and you know there's no small expense to bring a group like this all the way from philadelphia mm -hmm. down here to memphis so uh, we certainly want to thank everybody for coming and we hope we live up to your expe expectations i mean we have uh our, as, you, as you probably know our brand of wrestling down here is sort of a different animal i mean we are in a area and, and uh, we're wrestling down here every week and and you guys are familiar of course with the, the wwf uh, their circus type atmosphere and that sort oh, yeah. of thing and the nwa and and uh you know I, I don't i don't like to knock any wrestling at all because i mean if you look around the country about 95 percent of the guys that you see in the wwf and the nwa all started right here in the memphis area that's true so we're proud of that fact and uh uh, we think that we have the greatest wrestling anywhere in the country, and we hope we're going to be able to prove it to you this weekend. Well, we hope so as well, and I think I can do this now, okay? Okay, great. Um, we kind of thought, we kind of would like, would have liked to come here and bring you something nice, and uh, we sat and molded over, and we thought, well, Jerry Lowler probably has a million plaques and awards and that type of <laughs> well, thing. Well, gives away so, duffel bags. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we have uh, friends of ours in Philadelphia who do this. Uh, this is sandblasting uh, on, that they, they kind of will do anything on glass, and this is kind of very heavy, but it says, Rassled Radio and Philadelphia loves Jerry the King Lawler and the CWA, and on behalf of uh, Rassled Radio, Philadelphia, and all of us, we'd like to present this to you. Well, thank you very much, and I can't think of a better way to wrap up the show. They're telling us we're out of time. Thank you all for being here. Thank you. Thank you for being here. We love this, and we love you, and we're going to see you at the Coliseum tomorrow night. Okay, everybody? <laughs>